So it's finally warming up. Flowers are starting to bloom and the birds are chirping. I think it's fair to say that spring has finally sprung. And who better to celebrate with us than Neil Fuentes? It's about time. It was a I, long, cold winter. And you winter. believe that's snow in, the, in April? I missed it. I, well, I wasn't here for lucky it. Lucky you. <laughs> lucky you, not us. But this is a great recipe. I see a yeah. lot of colors. I see fresh vegetables. Yes. When the spring comes, it's a transition. We're still not quite hot, but we're still not quite cold. Mm -hmm. So you have to have a little bit of both worlds here from winter and from summer. So from summer, I'm using beautiful vegetables such as great tomatoes and cherry tomatoes mm -hmm. and haricot verde or string beans. And from the winter part, I'm using sweet plantains. Okay. All right, so you sh you're ready to... Yes, yeah, show me how to do this. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, let me change, switch with you. Certainly. Because I have the fish right here. Now, is this difficult? I kind of shy away from making fish because uh -huh. I don't really know what to do with it. Okay. Well, fish number one, you can never, you should never overcook it. Okay. So you have to be aware of what's happening. So the good thing to do is to have a very, very hot pan and have a good sear. Okay. You know what I mean? So it's nice and crispy in the outside and then you put it in the oven, let it there for seven minutes, and then it's going to come out nice and juicy, especially this kind of fish. This is mahi-mahi. Mahi-mahi people have this weird concept that it's a dolphin and it's not. This is a fish and dolphin is a mammal. Right, so but it's a the very, dolphin fish, correct? And that's a, kind of the confusion, the dolphin but fish. They call it the dolphin down, fish, but it's not a dolphin, mahi. people. We're, not, we're, not, we're, not, we're eating real fish here. It's beautiful, <laughs> it's chunky, it has a white flesh, it's, it's, it has lots of flavor. And it's not so fishy, it's one of the it's milder fish, fish, right? Yeah, so what you're going to do is you want to heavily season it in both sides. So I have a little salt, a little pepper, and I already have a hot pan okay. right there going. And then we're Did gonna you put, put oil right or anything, or you don't need to? Okay. So we're going to let that work, like I said, for both sides heavily. I want to do that, a little pepper right in there. All right. So we're going to let it work there. Let it be happy, happy, happy. In the meantime, what we have here is we're going to work on what is the starch, which okay. is some plantains. We've talked about plantains before. Yes. Okay, so what I have here is a plantain, a sweet plantain. You want it to be nice and sweet, nice and yellow, almost black, I would say. Cut both ends just like this. And then you're going to make an incision this way to the plantain. Okay. And then with your fingers, the skin comes right off. That's ah, pretty Very easy. Very easy. Just like this. See? And then we're going to cut it. We're going to chop it. Does it taste like a banana? Because it certainly it looks has, like one. It, it's sweet like a banana, but it has a, 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 a slight different flavor. Okay. All right. So what I have here is a pan also with water. See that? It's like a finger of water right there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add some honey to that because honey is going to make it even more sweet. Okay, so we're going to put the honey right there, about three tablespoons, four tablespoons of honey. We're going to put our plantains in there, and then we're going to start cooking in the honey and the water. Oh, they're going to be sweet and delicious. They're huh? going to be sweet and delicious. So what's going to happen is when the water disappears or evaporates, right, mm -hmm. it's going to look like this. You see this one right there? Yes, already All done. All right, so what you need you to do is grab about two tablespoons of butter from here and put it right in there. So what happens is the butter, yeah. Would that be half a stick? No, I around don't. here. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. yeah, around there, that's okay. perfect. We need to teach you how to measure. This. Okay, there you go, you put it right in there. And what's gonna happen, the butter is gonna make the plantains nice and caramelized, and this is the final product, see that? This is what it's gonna look like. So what we're gonna do now is I have here some queso fresco. Okay. It's a nice cheese, it's soft, it crumbles beautifully. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add it to the plantain. We're gonna crumble it up like this, all right? And I want you to mix that real quick with this spoon or whatever. Oh, I can do that. Yeah, there you go. In the meantime, we have the salad right here. We're going to talk about haricot verde. Never overcook haricot verde. You don't want mushy veggies. All right, what I have here is water yes. with a little bit of salt. Uh -huh. I'm going to put boiling. it right in there. It's boiling. We're going to put it right in there. I'm going to count. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, <laughs> six, one thousand, seven, one thousand, eight, one thousand, nine. Mm -hmm. 10, 1,000. Take Ten. them out. That's Take them it. Out. We're going to take them out now immediately, and they're going to go right into ice water. This is called So it shocking. stops the cooking, right? It stops the cooking immediately, and it lets the stream beans actually preserve that beautiful color that we're looking for. Wow. All right. So what they're this... They're not going to be cold when you serve them, or do you want them well, to we, be cold? We want it to be cold. It's going to be oh. a salad. It's oh. going to be a salad. <laughs> All right. So here I cut some fresh tomatoes. You did. See that? And we have cherry tomatoes and grape tomatoes that are orange. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our stream beans out of the ice water. Should I flip um, this fish over or you don't want to do that? No, because I want it to have a nice sear. Okay, I'm going to let we you be nice, the chef then. Yeah, I'll exactly. Just continue to watch. And look at this. We're going to have a little olive oil, which you have it right there. Thank you very Check. much. Olive oil, just a touch. Just like that. And then instead of vinegar, 
which we could use vinegar if you want, because it's springtime, I'd rather use the fruit. So we're gonna use the juice of one lemon. Okay. It's gonna go right in there. And then I have here a little bit of cilantro as well. Oh, how nice this is gonna be. Oh yeah. It smells really fresh. It is fresh, that's what we're looking for. So we're gonna cut some cilantro, we're gonna put it right there. We're gonna put some salt, grab me the pepper. You have it right somewhere around here. I didn't take the oh, pepper. Oh, I have it, Never mind. I put it on this side. All right. All right. About 30 seconds left, Neil. What All do we do right. with this fish? What we're gonna do is, I have one in the oven so you can see what it looks oh, like. of course you do, the yeah, meat for TV version. Oh, but you gotta be ready here. All right. And look at this beautiful thing. It's Fabulous. right here, ready to go. So what we're gonna do is we grab a little bit of this plantain. Mm -hmm. We put it over here. Just what a like lovely it. dinner you've just created for us. All right, we kind of toss the salad slightly just like this. And look at the beautiful colors. Put it right in there. Wow. Beautifully. And then we're gonna grab our fish. Mm -hmm. we'll How long right did you keep here. that in the oven for? Not long. Seven to eight, seven minutes. Pretty seven close. to okay, eight minutes. Great. Well, and gonna, there you have it. It's beautiful, Neil. Nicely done. Yeah. We'll dig in at the end of the show and the recipe will be over on WTNH.com. Just click on style. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> we'll see you soon in a few.